all of them. We have agreed this is a, a great assemblage of uh, law officers and professional law enforcement people and we'll do whatever it takes to be sure that what we believe is an aberration in one of the finest family beaches uh, in America does not happen again. We are, whatever it takes, uh, we are, we are uh, we're going to do it all. Do we have numbers in terms of funds and boots on the ground yet? We do. There'll be a lot more boots on the ground than we were. As I say, these various agencies are all pitching in and there will be uh, plenty of boots on the ground, as you say. There'll be plenty of professionals, uh, some visible, uh, many visible, and, and some uh, not noticeable to we know how many. many more than were here before. I'd, I'd say this, this is an aberration. Myrtle Beach has never been like this, and it, it's, not, it's not that kind of place. We know, for example, that these uh, the, the, the young men uh, involved in this uh, incident were from, uh, from North Carolina, at least most of them were, and they were young, 17, 18 years old. They were here for the, the senior, the high school senior week. And, uh, but we've, they've been identified, uh, a lot of them. I mean, we know where they came from and we know how to handle, to respond and to prevent things like that. And I can assure anyone that the, whatever it takes to, to be sure that this aberration does not happen again will be done. You've got uh, men and women uh, in law enforcement, prosecution, public safety uh, in that room that uh, cannot be excelled anywhere in the country. Well, we think this was, this was not a gang event, but you always have people anywhere you find young people, you're liable to find some that uh, may be associated with, with a gang somewhere at one time or another. But this, is, uh, this began uh, simply as a, uh, a crowd that, that got rowdy, got out of control, and of course there were firearms involved. But again, the, the, uh, the, probably the best professional team in the country is now being uh, assemble to be sure that this does not happen again. We don't want it to happen in any of our, in any of our towns, in, in any of our cities, anywhere on the coast or anywhere else. Governor, this is the second time in the last three years the governor has had to come here to address something like this. Are you worried about the image of Myrtle Beach changing from a family-friendly destination to not so family-friendly? I think Myrtle Beach is one of the most popular destinations uh, in the, on the East Coast. And for many, many years, it has had a marvelous reputation. I do not think that this will, will hurt it, but we just want to be sure that everybody is comfortable when they come here or when they live here, that we're not going to tolerate this kind of activity. I think a lot of the, the visitors who were here uh, the last weekend uh, maybe were not as aware as they should have been that we don't tolerate this kind of behavior. But the message is gonna go out uh, loud and clear uh, starting right now. These shootings also came as we have vacancies in the Myrtle Beach Police Department and the Horry County Police Department. What can we do about that? Well, we always need more good policing, of course, but uh, we are fortunate that we have well-trained officers, uh, uh, the, both um, undercover and otherwise. And, and again, we've with the Department of Public Safety, with SLED, and with, with, with others, with you saw all the people in the room, we have a great team, and our, uh, we are uh, confident that we have the team in place, we have the materials, we have the equipment to do all that is necessary to see that this does not happen again. And is there any concern at all that a heightened police presence might deter people who are coming here looking for we don't. We don't think so. I mean, these uh, these police officers are not strangers to this to this area, and they know how to police. And some will be uh, quite visible, and others will not be. And that's the way good policing works. What does the city of Myrtle Beach mean to the South Carolina? City of Myrtle Beach, the the whole area, the entire Grand Strand, which is historic in its reputation, means a whole lot to the entire state of South Carolina. They're, 
Uh, people love to come to the beach and, and uh, uh, in this part of the this part of the country when they say let's go to the beach so many people are talking about Myrtle Beach about the Grand Strand North Myrtle Beach on down to Hilton Head and, and even beyond so it's, it's very important our tourism industry is is huge it's very important to us but so are the lives safety and, and property of all the people who live here the people who are working here the children so whatever it takes to be sure that everyone is safe sound and happy we're going to do. Last question for the governor, please. What does this say about the state of Myrtle Beach right now that you actually have to be here talking with law enforcement about how we're going to keep people safe? Anytime I can come to Myrtle Beach, I'm going to be here. I love it. I've been coming to the to the Grand Strand, uh, Myrtle Beach, Pauley's Island, Myrtle's Inlet since I was a child, and I'm not going to quit. I, this is a it is a great great place. Uh, we view this as an aberration. It's something that had some young, young folks who were not aware that you can't cut up like that. You can't hurt people like that here, and we're just not going to tolerate it. We think when they understand that and when they are aware of the, the arsenal of, of police and response and safety, public safety power that's being brought to bear to be sure that doesn't happen again, uh, maybe they'll think twice and behave. Thank and, you very much. Thank you.